Hey, welcome back, friends. So brand new from Momentum, Grand Design Momentum, the 414M. This thing is behemoth. We're going to uh, tour it today and see if I can do it justice. It's got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we'll do the outside first, then we'll go inside. Hope you stick around. All right, just wanted to give you a good shot of the Momentum front cap. I'm actually on the porch of the 414 right now. You can see that. But we can't see this unit's front cap because we're tight here at the show. But this one looks exactly the same. So I wanted to make sure to show you that first. Let's go back out and walk around. You can kind of see what I was talking about right here. So let's start with this front compartment here. You've got some nice big storage up above your power box. Basically, your Jenny. All of that is going to be down here. We'll see that in just a second. But nice big storage here. And you can see all of these have access with screws through this paneling right here. Line flooring, linoleum flooring. Let's open up the bottom here. This is going to be a gas Jenny. Got your battery box over here, ready to go, ready to be loaded up. And this thing, this thing's massive, guys. You'll see, you've, you've seen the stats on it. I think it's almost 46 feet long, but it's huge. I'm having to back up a good 15 feet from it to get it all in the frame. Decent sized pass-through storage. I've seen bigger, but I've also seen a lot smaller. It does help tremendously that you can access it through there. So that's pretty cool. You can see your battery disconnect right here. You've got your onboard vacuum right here. You've got access panels here as well. You can see some of your frame right there. More accesses just in case you need them. Got your big four step step above. Nice big slide right here. We'll go inside. Like I said, we'll go inside in just a minute. It's very nice. They've done a great job on this one. Outside TV. I'm always digging that with your Rockford Fosgate marine speakers right there. Big, big, big window that you'll see here in just a second. I think there's a dinette right there. This is a triple axle unit. You can see your axles there. Cooper tires come standard on these units. You've got your auto level. You've also got your CRE 3000 suspension. You can see your through frame. Big through frame slides right there. Dexter, looks like you got uh, Dexter ABS on these units, sway mitigation system, ABS, these things are getting complicated boys and girls. All for the good I guess. Big big awning, so between this awning, that's going to be 15 feet, 12-15 feet, another 12 feet, another 15 feet, so yeah you got 40 some odd feet of awning. Go up in your garage here in just a minute. Big, big window back there. Here's your patio. Digging the patio. Let's see if we can get behind it. Let's see if we can sneak under the front cap that started this video. There we go. Big windows on this side. Nice, big, huge window right here where you have some seating. And I think I can actually get back here. The diet's paying off. All right. A bit more big windows. I love these big windows, man. 50 amp unit, of course. Anything this side would have to be a 50 amp unit for sure. There is going to be your uh, your hot waters here, and then this is going to be your furnace. All right, here's some business end stuff. You've got your auto level here, rocking and rolling. You've got your water filter comes installed already. All of your tank pulls over here. You've got your Nautilus system, city water, black tank flush right there. You've got a shower out here. Yeah, and you get another view of the big front storage. This is gonna be, I think, a bedroom slide. Yep, Swintech bedroom slide. Let me get you back over here. Let's go inside this thing. Okay, let's step up into the 414M from Momentum. Got a little U-shaped kitchen here as soon as you walk in. And yeah, here's what I really love is this L-shaped living room. 
a lot of backlighting, fireplace, big TV. That's probably 65 inch TV. A lot of windows. Love the surrounding windows here. I mean, this is just a, this seems like this would be a great place to, to sleep. I mean, I'm sure that's a pullout. I assume it is. And uh, am I wrong about that? Nope, those must be recliners. So those are recliners, but still, you can sit there surrounded by windows. Got recliners over on this side as well. There's another shot of that kitchen. We'll start digging and looking around at some cabinets here in a minute. Nice big Norcold fridge. And I bet this is a slide out. Yes, nice slide out pantry right here. Love to see this be adjustable, but I do love the slide out pantries. Big Norcold fridge. Wow, this is, this is a whopper. Nice, I'm trying to get you a size on that one. It'll be linked in the description box below. Big, huge freezer. That's the biggest one I got at home. Residential type fridge for sure. Let's see what we got over here. I like to start digging little bitty storage there. A little bit more there. Big storage up above the TV. Let's, uh, we'll go up to the garage in just a second. Let's go up to the bedroom. Let's go check it out. I love these windows, man. There's a bunch of windows in this unit. Now I'm a big fan. Oh, hold on a second. I got to show you guys this sink. So this sink is really cool here. So you got like a, a glass wash like you'd see at a bar. You press your glass down and it sprays up in there and you, and it, you know, you're rocking and rolling with that. You got your soap dispenser here. You've got a cutting board, optional cutting board here. You've got this nice little rinse that comes out if you want to rinse vegetables or, or rinse your dishes or, you know, utensils, something like that. It's just really cool. Here's your hot and cold. Uh, this does your hot and cold as well. If you want to do this is over here and this side is for this one is for this one. So anyway, I haven't gotten to play with these much quite yet. Like the fit board fits in there, but uh, these are really, really cool sinks. If you've ever seen one function, you'll really appreciate them. Um, let's go around the kitchen before we go up. Oh, big, big storage there. That goes way back in there before we go to the bedroom. Average size drawers. I would say not small, barely medium drawers. Big enough for utensils for sure. There's your trash can right there. And bigger storage over here. Up top you got really big storage. It goes that one's gonna have that's probably got some some guts in it somewhere. Some electronics. Here we go. That's better storage. Anytime you see something like this, something that's blocked off, that's either something that's probably in the bathroom, uh, there may be bathroom storage, or it's some electronics that you generally won't need to get to, hopefully. Well, good storage here. I'm just showing you, showing you around what you got, what you're rocking and rolling with here. Very good. I like, I'm digging the window right here at the stove. Nice looking stainless stove oven combo. Got some blue LEDs going on there. Decent sized little oven. Much bigger than your traditional RV oven. All right, you got your, I mentioned your vacuum earlier. You pop that up and just sweep. Oh, it's already on, look at that. I love it, I love it. I would love to have that in a unit. That'd be great. Uh, touch screen right here. That's gonna control, you can see here. It's good your voltage information, bedroom, garage, main, all your ACs. Uh, your fuel tank, your black tanks, your black tank two, gray tanks, all of that's right here. All right. Max air fans, that controls right here. Cute little window right there, and more the merrier. Good size bathroom, so I like how they made this open into the bedroom as well. So this is just like a column right here, so you can, it just opens this up more. Especially if you're a couple, you would never probably leave this open or closed very often. So, um, yeah, here we go. Speaking of that blocked off area, that's what this is. This is storage. That's what that was. That was storage for your bathroom. So not a ton of storage in this bathroom, but it really doesn't matter because we're about to get 
We're about to get into some really big storage here in just a second. You got upgraded fixtures in here, nice big skylight, fancy spa type seat, and plenty of room to do your business. All right, let's go into this bedroom and you can see this is a king or queen. This is a king that's in here right now. And I love that they left, you see these little shelves here? Shelf over here, shelf over here. I love that they left those higher up so you can upgrade your mattress. Now, these come with a decent little mattress, honestly. At this price point, it should. But uh, if you wanted to upgrade to a real thick, big Mac Daddy mattress, you can definitely do that and you're not gonna mess up anything. You're not gonna block any windows or anything like that. I do like the window there. I'm glad that it doesn't come down further and mess, because when you get your windows too close to the head of your bed, you know, your pillow starts to mess with stuff like this little string right here. The, yeah, just, the window up there is good. The window down here is not so great. And you got side windows, which more airflow is always a good thing. But up here, hey guys, this is a massive amount of storage, as you can see here. So the fact that there's not tons of storage in the bathroom really does not matter because there's tons of storage here. And you do have washer and dryer prep. You can see that back there if you wanted to remove these. So then this slides back to the middle. And then you've got huge storage, hanging storage right here. And this is actually separated. And I, I actually like that, that it's separated. You've also got more storage here. And here. So there's ample storage in here for sure. Very good. Same thing over here. And as we turn around, got a nice little dresser. Hey, this could this mattress is not bad, guys. This is a really good RV mattress that I'm sitting on. But this one slides out, kind of a hidden spot for valuables. And then you got a nice little chest of drawers right there. Very good momentum. What do you think, guys? No carpet. So we walk through the main area again. Let's go to the garage. Haven't gone there yet. So I love that they started putting these dog balls in Grand Design Momentums. And it's cool because when you're ready to go, that flops down and it's magnetic. But the funny part is this, they got the Grand Design logo right there. I thought that was pretty fun. So that pops down. I'm digging that. Of course, you got your ties here. All of your garage information is popping up on the screen right now. You got your glass door to separate yourself from the bunk room if you got kids back here. Now, if you got a bad kid, that's where they need to go. Put them in a sweat box. Of course, I'm joking. There's an air conditioning vent right there, so they're good. But uh, yeah, that's a that's a cool little nook for the kiddos. Um, and obviously, you got a TV already in here. And obviously, you're going to have queen size, bigger than queen size, really, bunks that are going to come down. This, These will all come down, and th these two up here will form couches on each side. And then th this unit up here will be a bunk, and you'll have ladders for those. So, yeah, very nice. So I assume the longer ladder is going to be for this side, and that little bit shorter ladder it's gonna be for that side. So you can see your garage here, your little dovetail coming in and out. Let's go out on your patio. You've already been out here once, right? I'll show you the other way. So nice looking patio here. It's probably an eight by nine patio. They've got new more ride doors on these units. I'll show you those in just a second when we go back outside. I forgot to show you that, but I wanted to show you the patio first. Yeah, good looking garage. Nice big garage. Let me show you that door. Okay guys, I wanna finish by showing the new more ride doors. It's called Zero G Ramp Door. And look how clean that is. Now, let's compare it to last year's model. This is a Lipper door. Chunky monkey. So yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, let me show you one one more improvement. This is your old locks here, and then your new lock 
is very clean. It's just right there. Nice, uh, nice clean looking door on the new Momentums. Okay, there you go, friends. Momentum M-Class, the 414M. She's a big girl. And uh, yeah, but there's a lot to offer in this unit. I think Grand Design did a great job. I especially love the living room. What was your favorite part? What was your least favorite part? Let me know down in the comment section. And, and also guys, uh, I've made it a goal of mine for 2024 to thank you guys every single video. And yeah, thank you. Really do appreciate it. Hope you guys are good. See ya.